Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Mike here, and it is a rainy, miserable Saturday afternoon, and it's a perfect time for me to do a mod on my Saturn Sky. And today I'm going to be actually installing something that uh, I discovered, it's a little controversial. Uh, certainly um, I posted a some, uh, thing on Facebook about it real quick, I, didn't even, I just had a picture of the box. And everyone's saying, oh my god, you wasted your money, it doesn't work, and I'm going so and so on. And, I uh, had a lot of opinions on there, and I'm fine with that. I mean, people have their opinions. Um, but I'd like to actually try the product out before I go and I start bashing it. And I'm not sure if everybody on there actually had the product or not, or, or whatever. And it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to install this thing. Hopefully it works. And if it does, I'll let you know. If it doesn't, I'll also let you know. So um, what this mod is actually called, it's a, a Sprint Booster. And it's actually a version 3. Apparently it was... Two versions of, before this, I didn't even know about it until somebody on Facebook um, recommended it to me because they actually have it installed in their um, Kappa uh, 2.4 liter like I have. And they said it's one of the best mods they've done. So I'm like, okay, I trust you. I'm going to go ahead and, and um, install it myself and see uh, see if I get their same results. So I know the hardest part about this is going to be the installation simply because of where this where this thing is going to be located. It's up under the dash above the um, above the gas pedal brake area so I might have to pull the the, uh, the front seat out for that I'm hoping I'm not hopefully I can uh, play a contortionist today and uh, and get in there and, and kind of get this thing installed without taking the front seat out but if I have to I've done that before it's not that big a video it's just a little bit of a pain in the butt so anyway let me go ahead and show you the sprint booster and uh, what it looks like Okay, so I'm not going to do a whole unboxing video. That was so a couple of years ago. But the main uh, piece that comes with the system, actually there's two main pieces. There's this one and there's this one. And this is the plug that goes uh, in between where your normal drive-by-wire plug is underneath your dash near the gas pedal. And then this is the piece that you use to check your, uh, or to change your settings. There's a sport mode and then there's a race mode. And then there's nine settings in between each one of those. And then obviously there's an off mode as well. And basically you plug this in to the main plug here and you undo this whole wire and you put it up on your dash and they actually give you a little piece of um, double sided tape to do that, uh, to put it up there and you're good to go after that. So like I said, the hardest part I think is gonna be, cause I've actually seen where this thing has to be plugged in and getting to it uh, is going to be quite a pain in the butt. I, I watched some videos on YouTube and it's really easy for those guys because everything's nice and close. Of course our cars aren't like that. So um, you also get a user guide if you need to read the instructions here kind of tells you everything and then a quick installation uh, which I think the only thing that they really have in here that uh, you got to pay attention to is to open the door and have the keys removed and the door open for 10 minutes. Um, I guess that's something to do with the, uh, yeah, that gives the vehicle time to check the electronic system through the car and the CAN bus system. So anyway, um, that's not going to be a problem because I'm sure it's going to take me 10 minutes to to, uh, to kind of mess with this thing anyway. So, all right, I think I'm going to be ready to go and get this thing installed. Okay, one thing that I did forget to mention is the side of the little um, uh, selector piece here has a switch here we go right there and that's where you're going to choose whether you have a manual or an automatic transmission so the direction say I think it's the top part I have it switched up so that's the manual transmission if you have an automatic you would switch it down so that way it knows uh, apparently it knows what to do so anyway now I'm gonna go ahead and get started all right so I'm gonna to try to show you where this plug is um, that we have to connect into and if you're looking at the gas pedal the clutch and the brake there and if you just kind of tilt up you'll see that pink Kind of wire there that's actually a safety wire um, i know i'm kind of blocking the light but it's a safety wire for the plug so we're going to kind of get under there and disconnect that plug there and put the sprint booster in between and plug it back in again so this is going to be a uh, a real test of my back to try to get under there and worst case scenario i'll take the front seat out and um and get it there now i will be honest I don't know if I'm going to be able to record this because I don't know where I can put a camera where you'll be able to see and I'll be able to see at the same time. So if I can, I'm going to try to record unplugging that. If not, um, maybe I'll just kind of explain it, uh, what I did and what you, what you guys have to do as well. So let me go ahead and uh, try to get this thing installed. 
All right, so there's the plug. And apparently on the right hand side, that top part is where we have to push some kind of a tab in to remove that pink section. And then once that pink section is removed, the plug will come out. And then that's where we kind of, that's where we put that sprint booster thing. So I doubt if I'm gonna be able to do that while I'm on the camera, but that's pretty much the gist of it. And that's where the plug is. All right, so I got it installed. This plug was a little bit of a pain in the neck to get off. You basically, and I'll, put, I'll post a picture or something like that. You basically push this little tab in and then it kind of pulls out. But as you can see, here's the, uh, the booster cable. And then, oh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's kind of up behind here. Then it kind of runs in between the original plug that's right here. The, this plug used to be plugged into there, but now I get the booster cable in between. And then I'm running the wire for the little selector button thing. I'm going to be running it through the uh, on the bottom and over to the uh, center console. And just to show you real quick, I do have the seat out and a nice thick blanket under here because you literally have to get on your back, kind of almost like completely have your feet up here, the top of the seat or where the seat was to get under there, especially since I'm over six foot tall. If you're shorter, it might be a little easier, but uh, for me, not so much. Okay, so now I'm basically just gonna go ahead and put the seat back in and uh, give this thing a shot. And actually, now's a good time for me to get the shop vac out and uh, vacuum everything that was under the seat or everything that, it, yeah, that's, oh look. Here's my old uh, part of my sunglasses that I lost. Actually, it broke off and I lost. So uh, anyway, first I'm gonna get the vac, shop vac out and then I'll put the seat back in. All right, she's all installed. The seat is back in. Well, actually, I didn't actually tape the uh, the little controller up yet. I just kind of have it sitting here, and uh, I'm going to take a quick run before I decide where I'm going to put it. But uh, it is time to see what this thing will do. Okay, so here's where I actually mounted the little controller. It's actually on the side of where my uh, center console is, not on the front where most people might put theirs. But basically, you hit this little button, and right now it's off. You hit it once, it goes into sport mode, which is green. And then you hit it again, it uh, goes into race mode, which is red. And you can go back off again. And right there is, it tells you the number. Like right there is nine, but then you can actually change it to your different settings. You got nine settings within each mode. And what it does is it pretty much keeps, whatever the last mode you were in, it pretty much keeps it there for whenever you start the car next. So there's nine. So what you can actually do is just have your favorites and then not touch it. So you could have like, say you like race mode five or you like, you know, sport mode eight. Then once you leave it there, you're pretty much, uh, it'll pretty much stay there the whole time until you change it again. So if I hit it off, you'll see I'm back at sport mode H, uh, 8 and race mode 5. So, and you can kind of mess around with each one of these to determine which is going to be your best setting. All right, so here I'm going to go ahead and test this uh, booster. And right now I'm just going to drive it normal to get to the location I want to go to to um, give it a shot and see what this thing's going to do. Plus, it'll uh, remind me exactly how mine works right now, anyway. Okay, so right now I have it set on Sport 9. I figure I might as well go for the highest rating in the Sport or the highest setting in the Sport mode to see what it'll do. I'm actually kind of coming out on a turn on, a, on an intersection here, so I'm gonna roll into it a little bit and then I'm gonna gun it and see what this thing will do.
slow down and go back in a second. Let's see what we're Okay, so now I'm kind of coasting here a little bit. Absolutely wonderful. Even in, even in third gear, going 40 miles an hour, you still get you still get punched in the back. Let me try it with it off. Right. Turning it off. Yeah, see it's nowhere. That's doing the same thing, it's just not the same. It's more like a gentle push in the back when you don't have it on. As opposed to a uh, like a whack in the back, whatever you do have it on. Obviously, race mode is going to give you a lot more of a whack than sport mode, but if nothing else, they both give, they both give it to you. Yeah, just doing that, it's, you can just instantly feel the difference. Wow! Even whenever you're doing your rev matching, it's a lot easier because the 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 RPMs just so quick. There's no little throttle lag at all. It's just like as soon as you touch it, boom. Your RPMs are there to do your to do your uh, rev matching like this. Before it used to take forever.
That was a perfect rev match right there. Give my final thoughts on this thing. All right, so what can I say? The thing actually does what it says it's going to do. It's going to add um, more responsiveness to your throttle, and it's going to be a more precise throttle. And thankfully, they give you like nine different settings on each mode, so you can kind of work to find out what what your favorite setting is going to be. And um, I think it's going to up the fun factor. You know, well, just that little drive around it up the fun, the fun factor for me, knowing that now I have uh, a whole bunch of torque. At the beginning of the uh, whenever I champ on the gas, as opposed to it slowly doing a nice slow curve, now it's more of a boom, and you know it's right there. Uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to uh, to using it for autocross. I think it's going to work out very really, very well, and um, that's about it. You know, if it's something that you think might think of, a nice thing too, you can actually turn the thing off if you don't want to uh, have it on all the time, which actually is a benefit as well. That being said, I would uh, I would recommend it. You know, it's like 300 bucks. I think it would go on sale for like 260, something like that. Uh, the most difficult part was the installation, which you saw. You kind of, at least I had to take the um, take the seat out to put to install it. But uh, once you get past that and you know put that little remote thing wherever you want to put it and change your settings, you're good to go. And like I said, it's, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm glad I did it. So if you like this uh, video. You know, smash that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're notified on other videos that I'm coming out with, and obviously, you know, slam on that like button as well. Uh, we like the like, so I have a bunch more um, videos I'm going to be coming out with shortly, and this is going to be a fun year. Until then, this video is over.